Hello everyone, today we're going to do a problem in multivariable calculus and we're trying to find the area of a polar region. Alright, so when we have, whenever we find the area, we usually uh, want to try and draw a graph because it helps out a lot. So I'm going to uh, mark some intervals. Okay, so these are marked off in, in uh, two, so it's two, four, six, eight. Alright, so now you might recognize this as a special graph form. It's most likely in your calculus book. You know, A sine theta. And that has a special form. Now, uh, we're going to do it a little bit more, in a more tedious way. You know, because maybe you forgot the special graph form or you just don't know. You know, so we just have to show how to get it without knowledge of special graph form. So, now we're going to basically change it to rectangular coordinates. Well, not coordinates, but rectangular form. So, R is equal to 8 sine theta. Alright, so now you can recognize this as y is equal to r sine theta. So divide both sides by r um, in that equation and you get r is equal to 8y divided by r because sine theta is y divided by r. Now you multiply both sides by r squared which is equal to 8y r squared is equal to 8y. So r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, as you know from uh, polar form. x squared plus y squared is equal to 8y. So now we want to subtract both sides by 8y. So x squared plus y squared minus 8y is equal to 0. Great. So just make some more space here. Now we want to complete the square here to complete the rectangular form. So we want to group the x's together but there is only one x so plus zero plus group the y's together y squared minus 8y is equal to zero. Alright so we can't complete the square for the x's of course and we don't have to because it's just uh, this x squared so we're going to complete the square for the y so that's going to give us x squared plus uh, y squared alright so we divide uh, both I mean we divide uh, minus 8 by 2 and we square that value and we add it here so uh, minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4, so we're going to put that minus 8. Okay, so that's minus 4. Minus 4 squared is plus 16. So that's equal to 0. Alright, so now this will factor nice and cleanly. So that's x squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to, and since we added 16 to the left side, we add 16 to the right. Alright, so we finished the rectangular form, and obviously this is a circle, so the center is at, let's see, um, in this case x is equal to 0, and y is equal to plus 4 because y, the general form is y minus k, so minus minus is plus. So the radius is r squared is equal to 16, therefore r is equal to 4. Alright, so we have the center and radius. Now we can draw those here. So these are marked off in intervals of 2, so it's 2, 4, this is the center, 0, 4. So if the uh, radius is 4, then the diameter is 8. So our circle will look like this. Alright. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So now what we could do to find the area of this circle is just find the area of one half of it and multiply it by 2. Okay. So, we need to find the limits of integration, of course. 
So if you if you think about this, you can um, have a a table of y versus theta and plot points. I mean, plot angles and and c. I mean, I'm sorry, r versus theta and plot angles and see where r goes to find limits of integration. But you know, this is pretty simple. If you look at this, it starts out at theta is equal to zero and it goes to theta is equal to pi divided by two. So that's half the circle. So we're going to have two multiplied by one half the integral from zero to pi divided by two of r squared, which is eight sine theta. So d theta. All right. So now we can do this. All right. Let's see. All right. So we're gonna give two is equal to. Now we want to, of course, do the exponents first. In this case, parentheses. But there's nothing we can do here. So now exponents, order of operations. So eight times eight squared is sixty-four, and then sine squared. Okay. So it's gonna do this one half from zero to pi divided by two uh, uh, 64 sine squared theta d theta okay so it's pretty uh, tedious but well worth it so now we can factor out the 64 so that's going to give us 32 times the integral from 0 to pi divided by 2 uh, sine squared theta d theta and now okay so we can change this if we use a power reduction formula for trigonometry into 2 with 32 0 pi by 2 and that becomes 1 minus cosine 2 theta divided by 2 d theta all right, it's pretty uh, tedious, especially having to keep writing out these uh, the two, the two, and then limits of integration. All right, so now we go back up here. All right, now this is going to give us. All right, now we can factor out this one half. So 32 divided by 2 is 16, so it's going to give us 2 times 16. Um, the integral from 0 to pi divided by 2. And okay, so since we factored out this one half, basically what we're left with down here is this. So we just uh, have that. So 1 minus cosine 2 theta d theta. Okay. So don't do that anymore. So this is going to give us. Well, we can uh, pretty much multiply this uh, 2 by, uh, by the 16 right now. Or you could just wait till you do everything inside these brackets and then multiply the answer by 2, either way. But I'm just going to do this here now, so we don't have two constants lurking around. So that's going to give us 32, and uh, multiplied by... All right, now we can do the integration. So now it's going to give us theta, the integral of 1 is theta, minus... Uh, the integral of minus cosine 2 theta is minus sine 2 theta divided by 2 and of course this is from 0 to pi divided by 2 all right now this is going to give us 32 multiplied by now we plug in our limits of integration from beta and then minus alpha so it's pi divided by 2 minus sine 2 times pi divided by 2 divided by 2 minus now uh, 0 so 0 minus sine 
of uh, 2 times 0 divided by 2. So we get 32. Alright, now pi divided by 2, that's fine. Minus uh, the sine, so we have these two twos cancel out, so that's sine of pi, which is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So that's pi divided by 2 minus 0, which is just pi divided by 2. Minus 0 minus 2 times 0 is 0. Sine of 0 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So that's 0 is equal to 32 multiplied by pi divided by 2. Okay, which is equal to 32 divided by 2 is 16, so that leaves us 16 pi square units. Alright, so now if you think about this, uh, think about what you learned in, uh, in pre-calculus, basic math, you know, things like that. The area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So that's going to give us pi times r. What's r? The radius is 4. So 4 squared is equal to 16 pi square units. So, you know, we use uh, calculus to figure out something that you learned a long time ago, many, many years ago, and something simple uh, with uh, this basic formula here. You know, so calculus is very... Uh, powerful, you, you know, it's more interesting to do it in the calculus way, but you know, you can do it here as a is equal to pi r squared. It's all the uh, the same thing. So now this whole circle is 16 pi square units. So I hope uh, you all learned something, and uh, I'll see you in a future video.